don't worry, don't worry. We are not going VTOLing it. It's going to be an unusual one. Just close the canopy a minute. I'm going to try and explain VR. Now, to anybody who's got VR, just, just, just go away. You know. Yet yeah, this is for the people who don't know about VR. And shame on them. But I'm going to try and explain to the people what VR is. I'm not going to kind of wax lyrical on about, oh, it's, yeah, unicorns and rainbows. No. I'm going to try and explain how VR works in layman's terms. Okay? So, are you ready? Here we go. <clears throat> First of all, let me um, put you into my eyes. Dun, 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 dun. You are now in my eyes. I have got you on a field of view of 60 degrees, which is kind of right. Now, the problem with that is, is that if you've not been in VR, your experience of games is looking through a monitor, which is like looking for a window. So you can turn a thumbstick and you can move left and you can move right. And you can move center and you can move up and you can move down. It doesn't quite work in VR like that because I can move my head whenever I want. But more importantly, I can move my eyes, yes, like in the real world, I don't have to move my head, I can be mm, looking over to the left, looking over to the right, looking up, looking down, looking at what I need to look at naturally. The next thing is, is like in the real world, if you, an experiment for you, look at the back of your hand, yeah, just, just, Look at the back of your hand, yeah? And in the back ground, something far away, focus on the back of your hand. And everything else is out of focus. Now on this video, all that is in focus. Yeah, all that is in focus. But through my eyes, in my head, because this is full 3D, everything else is blurry, like in the real world. I can see the, the furry pattern on the back of my glove. And everything else is, I'm not focused on it. Yeah. Now I'm looking at the trees. And all this stuff is out of focus. Like in the real world. Your eyes are seeing the depth of the 3D. And it's not kind of layers. It's not this is one layer then the road is another layer, then the buildings are another layer, then the trees are a back layer. It's not that kind of 3D. It's full 3D, full depth, yeah? Example, you see this panel here? I can look around the side of it, I can look underneath it. And it's it's solid, it's real, it's, no, it's not real, it's virtually real, you know what I mean? It's kind of real. Right, okay, so that's where your immersion comes from. Not the graphics, but the fact that you are in the game and everything is like the real world, i.e., I'm looking at this wall, I can see how far away the wall is from me. Because I can see the depth. I can see the distance. It's not a flat plane on a monitor that they're using a bit of focus trickery to show you how far away that is. Or the parallel lines and the three dimensions, but it's still a flat image. Yeah, when you watch your television or you watch the movies on a normal, regular TV, um, it's a flat image. Although you can see the depth in the telly because you're looking through a camera lens that shows you depth and focus. But you're not in control of that. In here, you're in control of that. Right, okay, that's how VR 
works and the big thing about it that you just cannot represent or show in a YouTube video. So people who haven't played VR will watch this video and go, oh, that's a bit naff, those graphics. When you're sitting in here, they're not naff. <laughs> it's very tangible. It's very real to the brain because of the way it's interacting with your eyes and your vision and your physical movements. It fuels the brain. So one of the other things while we're here, if you're in a normal flight simulator, um, you would have a keyboard shortcut or a HOTAS shortcut for all of these controls. And you've got to try and remember them. Now, if you're in VR, that's a problem because you can't see your keyboard. And to have this many controls, you couldn't map them onto a HOTAS. You'd have to have a keyboard as well. And every time you wanted to uh, turn the hood on, you'd have to lift your visor up and that breaks the immersion because then you're looking at the real world, the virtual world's ended until you put the headset back on. And it, it's immersion breaking. But in VR, all I did was simply grab that switch with my real hand that appears to be my real hand. It's in the right position from my head. And the movement my hand is doing in the real world is being simulated onto that. And you don't think about it. That adds to the immersion. So we're going to get ready to, f to fly this thing. Yeah, so you'll see what I do. Okay, so the battery's been turned on. The APU's been turned on. The canopy's been closed. Did all that before I started this. So all that's already been done. So now I'm going to start the engine. That easy. Hood's already on. Yeah, I'm going to turn the uh, the tint down a little bit on the hood. Okay, I'm going to turn my screens on. Just, just by turning them on. All my options are here. I'm going to go navigation on this one. And I'm going to go um, targeting computer on that one. I'm going to turn the targeting computer on. Yeah, I could set it to screen of interest, get hold of my joystick and start moving the camera that's underneath the plane. All that easy. Um, I'm going to do something now that's not going to work. Um, Tower, this is Bravo 1 1, request takeoff over. Copy, taxi to runway 0 2. Mew! Yeah. Okay, turn some more screens on. Look at my RWR, look at my fuel. Put the flaps to one. Yep. Engine has started up. Cool. Take the brakes off. Fantastic. Um, took the interior lights on, instrument lights on. Uh, let's put the nav lights on and the strobe lights on. Let's get out of here. Do, 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 do. So let's just head out onto the runway. I can see on here the little GPS track of the uh, route that it wants me to take to get onto the runway, onto the right exit. Looking down at the tower and all the hangars, I can see how far away that corner is and how fast I'm going because of the full depth of field and 3D that I've got. Um, the flight controls, I've not got a whole task in here, I'm just using my hands. I'm resting my arm on the arm of a chair. Um, I've set the position of the flight controls so that my hand, when rested on the arm of the chair, naturally goes there. So I'm not hovering, I, I'm, I'm quite relaxed, I've got both elbows on the chair and my hands naturally go to where I need them. Take off at runway 02. We wait for no man. So we'll just uh, bring it on the center line. And away we go. Now this is a, a weird thing about flight sims. Um, 
my brain's going to think I'm going to take off. In flatty vision that you're watching on, it doesn't look so good. But if I'm looking at the ground, and suddenly I start rotating, I do get that drop. My whole body drops as if I've just gone flying into the earth. It's a weird experience, and one you don't quite get used to. <laughs> so you tend not to look out of the window when you're doing that. <clears throat> Let's put that on colour and forward, forward, forward. Yeah, so again, we are now, uh, what are we? 2,000 feet, 3,000 feet, 5,000, 6, 7. Uh, we, we, we're going up at a great rate of knots. Now, in flatty vision, that might look a little bit crude but because I I'm in full 3d if you look at the edge of the mountains down there um, down there I can see the ones closer to me actually going over as they should covering over as we change our angle in um, reference to what I'm looking at and it's doing it everywhere at 80 frames a second, buttery smooth, and it's completely and utterly believable. When I look out, the, <laughs> if, you, if you've got vertigo, or you're scared of heights, don't look out the window, and certainly don't go inverted. Uh, uh, okay, then. When you, st <laughs> when you start to do the weird things like this, and actually looking at what you're doing and where you are, it can freak you out a bit. It really can. <laughs> Zoom out a bit on the map. I'm looking at this now, so I'm focused on here, and I can't see out the window. I can't see that mountain coming. So that's that's VR. And it doesn't matter what game you're in, whether it's this uh, racing sim. Um, a first person shooter you get this effect this is the VR effect this is the virtual reality this is what it is this is what it does this is the one thing you can't portray on a flat video on YouTube you have to experience it or try and explain it and, and the best way is if somebody's kind of grasp not grasping what it is just tell them to look off in the distance, put the hand in front of them and focus on the hand and then focus on the distance and focus on the hand. And that's that depth, three dimensional depth perception and that's what you get in VR. I hope that makes sense. The other thing about VR is that um, because you've got full depth perception you can do crazy things that you wouldn't normally do. That would be unthinkable. That the skill that would be needed. <laughs> but in here, not a problem. I am going to crash into this bridge, Anna, trying to dis describe this. Uh, try doing that in DCS on a flat screen without a lot of practice. Um, that's how much because you've got depth perception you know how far the span is you know where the water is you know where the top of the bridge is you know how big the aircraft is so we'll just stick it down on a landing here tower this is bravo one one request landing over bravo one one tower clear to land at runway two zero okay gear down flaps down you don't even think about it it's there you just do it yeah you just do it So we're coming into a stupidly steep landing here. But it's not a problem. Well, it might be when we get there. I hope that kind of gives a little bit of an insight. Like I said, if you've got VR, you know all this anyway. Uh, it just becomes the norm. And when it comes to norm, it's very hard to play on a flat screen because you lose that depth perception. 
I'm being a bit wobbly coming in here. I don't know why. Uh, you lose that depth perception when you're in a flat screen and it's very hard to kind of jump between the two, as it were. It's quite steep, so I've got a lot of uh, speed bleeding it off. And again, it's that easy to be doing stuff like this. This aircraft is quite heavy. I don't think I'm going to make that. Never say never. Stall warning. This might end badly. Oh, yeah. I'm not landing. Gosh, you're the female gym. But yeah, you you get that feeling of motion. I know the speed that this is going. I know that this thing is trying to stall out, and I'm really going to struggle getting over this hill. But there we go. We've got enough. We'll go around the tower. We'll buzz the tower. Oh, there is a, a, an update now where you can go multiplayer and you can be in the tower. Or in the uh, command in the mo in the uh, uh, in the carriers when they're doing the landings and call the ball and all the rest of it, it's fantastic. But I digress. Coming in, for, coming in for a landing again. I am stalling out here to give it more juice. A bit enough more that I can chew because this is only got one little engine at the back. <whistles> so, again, lining up with that runway, it, it's there, I can see it. It's not a flat thing I'm moving around. I can see the length, I can see the width, I can see how far I am, I can see how fast I'm approaching it. Too easy, too easy. I am on the brakes here, big time on the brakes. But we did come in a little bit hot. Boom, 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 boom. It's not Christmas. So. Oh, another thing about this, I can actually grab the camera. Hang on, let me grab the camera. And move the camera where I want, so I can put it wherever I want. I'll put it about there if I wanted to. Um, but yeah. That is VR. And the big thing about VR that nobody goes on about is 3D and the depth of field. And trying to explain that to somebody who's not been in true 3D. Well, we're all in true 3D because it's all around us. It's all around us, people. Look, it's over there. Um, um, so, again, that whole thing with the putting your hand up and focusing on it and focusing back. If you're in a race car, you're driving, you've got hold of a wheel, you look at your speedo can't see what's going on in the distance you look in the distance you look at the car that's at the side of you you focus your actual eye focus is changing every time you do that which reinforces the depth of the world when you're driving you can see how fast you're accelerating how far away you are from a car what that car's doing is it accelerating or decelerating you can see the apex you can see the line you're taking you can see the movement in three dimensions of the vehicle when you're going through the corners um, same with first person shooter you've got the gun in your hand you can see down the sights you can see how far away the person is um, it's it is literally you going from looking for a window at a flat game to actually being dropped in that game you're inside it you're physically inside the game you, you this all around here is your reality um, and with that I hope I've not melted anybody's brains and everybody's got VR is going yeah 
And I know all this. What are you talking about? Yeah, I know you know all this. I'm teaching eggs. Uh, this is for the people who haven't got VR. Um, go and try it. It will melt your brain. Okay. And with that, let me get a, a suitable... Are we going for the... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That'll do. Adios. Just needed a thumbnail, man. Leans in, frightens everybody because I've just put my head through.